Time to go make a movie. Jack Conrad is at the top of his game, and he is in a power position when we enter the film. When I first moved to L.A., signs on all the doors said, no actors and dogs allowed. Jack Conrad? I changed that. He is the biggest silent film star. Still got it. Jack is very much modeled on that early lineage of male movie stars of that time, like John Gilbert and Douglas Fairbanks. What we have here in Hollywood is high art. Hell yeah! Jack has reached the apogee of stardom, where the kind of love and adulation he inspires is like a near deity. I can't help but wonder, don't we have a higher calling? As the industry transitions, everything changes. This is something that Jack has a very difficult time wrestling with. There was this kind of hysteria associated with movie stardom way beyond anything we're even used to today. What happens up on that screen means something. Oh, well, that came out of nowhere. Who are you? I'm Nellie Leroy. Nellie is an aspiring actress. She's just arrived in Hollywood and she's going to be a big star. Okay, I want to try something. Action! My tears! She gets thrown in at the deep end and she rises to the occasion. So we go on again? I gotta ask you something. How do you tear up over and over like it's nothing? I just think of how. She is a force of nature. Party time! Ellie Leroy is loosely based on Clara Bow and various other female stars of the time. She winds up torpedoing her way to stardom. I thank you. As the story progresses, she realizes that Hollywood is way harder, way crazier than she ever thought. Fanny, I mean, so much trouble. I've never been as close to a character as Nellie before. I got here on my terms, not theirs. She came in with a bang and she's not gonna let anyone stand in her way. Let them see me now! It'll be the thing I'm most proud of in my entire career, but also my entire life. What do you say we come in for my close-up now? 